Hi there and welcome to Hit Figures with me, Jedi Lancelot. This is a show about proverbial phrases. Let's do it! Hit figures, I review and discuss three proverbial phrases openly and honestly. Let's see what our first proverbial phrase is. Uneasy lies the head that wears a crown. This means that a person with great responsibilities, such as a king, is constantly worried. I know what to, what to pick as my favorite headwear. Sometimes I like the steak and shake paper hat. Other times I like the Burger King King crown. But both of them make me feel inadequate as if I was not really in charge of anything but eating my own plate of food. I sometimes wish they made real crowns that you could wear at a fancy diner like a place that you could only go to dressed up in a suit and tie. Then they could give you a scepter and you could walk around and pretend it was a, a cane, but then you walked out of the place with it because you said you were elderly. Okay, now let's find out what our second proverbial phrase is. Early to bed and early to rise makes a man healthy and wealthy and wise. This means what it says it means. Crying out loud. I've never been much of a morning person because I've always been a night owl. I supply myself with a wealthy amount of caffeine. But the thing about it is that late in the night time, at like 2 or 3 in the morning, I start feeling like maybe I should have gone to bed at like 11 or 10 or 9 in the night time. Because I was already into tomorrow. And though I feel very pleased that I traveled into the future so quickly and vastly. I also feel very tired. Especially the next day when I wake up really late in the afternoon. And I think, where did my day go? <laughs> it went by really fast. So I feel that maybe I should start going to bed early. But you and I both know that ain't never going to happen. So let's just call a spade a spade. Hey, maybe that'll be on my next It Figures. Now let's find out what our final proverbial phrase is. He who can, does. He who cannot, teaches. This is a criticism of the teaching profession, portraying it as it's second best. I always liked and respected all my teachers in high school and middle school and elementary school and the Garden of Kinder because it's like them people's new way more than I did at the time. But as I grew up, I began to realize I do not need to know what sine and cosine means unless I needed to sign something and I needed a cosigner. And I, I could go off on a tangent about that, but it wouldn't help me pass a statistics exam. And I also don't know why I had to learn about all the history, because, like, that's in the past. I want to focus on the future. Like, what's, what's going to be in my breakfast tomorrow? Or what am I going to eat for lunch? And that kind of thing. So, although that's a really harsh proverbial phrase, I can kind of understand it to some extent because I don't want to be in front of a class telling a bunch of kids that could care less and don't want to be there how to run their lives when they get an adult. But you got to pay the bills. You got to pay the bills. And the way I figure is, as long as you're doing something that doesn't involve illegal activity. At least you are helping to mold the minds of youth and make this world a better place 
for kids who will grow up and steal cars. Well, I hope this has been insightful and mindful and torrential and effectuous and luscious and vivacious and prudential and progressive and insurantial and Geico and State Farm. I'll see you next time on It Figures with me, Jedi Lancelot. Bye now, y'all.